Hello and welcome to the video. I am going to be playing Super Robot Wars Original Generations for the PS2, starting with the first game. I'm just skipping the title screen because I don't want the music getting a content match on the stuff. Right, I am going to be playing Original Generations for the PS2, starting with Original... Um, okay, let me start over. Original Genera Super Robot Wars Original Generations is a remake of Super Robot Wars Original Generation 1 and 2 for the Game Boy Advance. It's a complete remake. And I'm going to be playing both of the games. Well, they're in one game, but it's two games. You get what I mean. I'm going to be playing both of them. Uh, they're going to be full playthroughs. I'm fluent in Japanese, and I'm going to be translating the story as I go along. So, let's start. OG1 has two main characters, Kyosuke and Ryusei. Uh, depending on which one you select, the first half of the game is totally different, and some of the later parts of the game are different as well. Kyosuke has his part of the story in OG2. I'm not entirely sure why he even has his own route in the first game. So we're going with Ryusei. He's, his story is more relevant to the events of OG1. Ryusei Date and the SRX team. Oh, I forgot that there were CG movies in this. Yeah, there were, weren't they? Mysterious man wakes up here. Goes, where is this? My name. My name is Owlef? No. Who's this mysterious mask guy? Uh, mysterious mask man says, Oh, the emergency code wasn't an error. Who are you? Oh, so you just possessed him. This must be fate. But at this stage, I can take you in. Grr. I will give you chains, and this time you will be my puppet. <clears throat> there are some who have taken steps to leave the Forbidden Land, and they have broken the barrier on their own. And now, we can interfere. Interfere? Control. Control means. And now we can, um, what's a better word for that? And now we can do stuff to the planet. That planet. Uh, but we have to hurry and do it before the stupid emperor. He actually uses uh, the word foolish emperor here. It's an insult. He doesn't like the emperor. Uh, we have to do it faster than the emperor and the inspectors. The ones who obtain the trump card will be us, the Godzos. <clears throat> Carry out your mission, Aulef Barshem. I will be watching from far away. I've actually played pretty much all of the Super Robot Wars games after Alpha, so I'm kind of familiar with, so I'm pretty familiar with most of them. Super Robot Wars OG Original Generations. Is there an open crawl? I can't remember. I cleared this a long time ago. I haven't played it in years. Episode 1, Divine Wars. Uh, there is... Uh, the year 179 in the new AD around Pluto. Uh, there is a TV series based on this game, uh, but it's not very good, it's mostly CG. The, I mean, the, uh, the robots are all CG, it's pretty bad. 
And they did their own thing at the end. Oh, well, I've got Rumble on. I should turn that off. Yeah, I don't like I don't like Rumble. I've never understood the appeal of Rumble packs. Uh, this is Daitetsu, the captain of the ship. He's asking for a damage report. Uh, blocks 4 to 9 and the second bridge uh, have been wrecked. The first and second main cannons can't be used. What about the Jigon Scoot? Jigon Scoot. It's surrounded and can't do anything. Yeah. Uh, Captain, uh, the, uh, the gap between the, their forces and ours is too great. We should retreat. These bug-like things clearly use higher technology than ours. Are they aliens? Probably. Also, they outnumber us and... Judging from their size and number, they probably have a mothership or fortress nearby. It's very dangerous. Oh no, and we mankind only just took our first steps to outer space too. I understand, but we should retreat. Oh right, this guy is Sean. His name's Sean. Uh, we can't have any more damage taken to the Hiryu. That's the name of the ship. If we take any more damage, we won't even be able to return to Mars, let alone Earth. Let alone Earth. Oh well, let's recover the Jigon Scoot and retreat at maximum speed. I will not forget this. So yeah, aliens. This was an event in Alpha 1, I believe. It had the Gunbuster people instead of Daitetsu. Uh, chapter 1, Second Contact. Chapter, episode, episode one, second contact. This is Elzem. Moon, Sirius, Ross, one, two, eight. Transmitting current coordinates. Wait a second, it's not trans, not transmitting. Confirming current coordinates. This is Doll One. Step four. Step four of the test has moving to step four of the test. T seven, Roger that. By the way, how is the experimental experimental prototype Geshpens Mark II? It's great. All of the problems in the zero in the zero zero one that uh, Kawai mentioned have been fixed. Uh, to me, if this were a horse, it'd be a two-year-old thoroughbred. I see, says this guy who clearly doesn't know what what Elzem is saying about horses. And we're commencing monitoring. This is Kirk. Kirk says, uh, "Oh well, let's see how let's see how you, as the top ace of the aggressors and the colony and the colony army, Togugun, Togugun. How do I switch the? No, that doesn't work." this yeah uh, the unified colony forces colon colony unified hmm. yeah unified colony forces I'll go with that they were formed in the year 184 when the 10 space colonies became a single unified country yeah unified colony forces colony unified forces unified colony forces whatever uh, they are technically a different organization from the Earth Federation forces, but they are pretty much under their control. And some of the colony forces aren't happy about that. The, uh, the higher-ups aren't happy about that. Yeah. Oh yeah, you can do this. You can look up. You can look up uh, keywords and stuff. Ingresses. Composed of. Kai Kitamura, Kawai Lao, Tempest Walker, Zanga Zombolt, Elzem V. Blanstein, Braunstein, Gilliam Jaeger. <laughs> they were disbanded in the year 184 due to 
due to a certain thing. No details. Oh, you stop base. Got it. Beginning test. Oh, what's this? What are these? Unidentified objects closing in from B1262. Doll, wa doll 1, be warned. I've seen them. They're not space debris. We don't have data. They're completely unconfirmed objects. This is Doll 1. I'm making contact with the unidentified objects. What? If they're not ours or the Federation's, we need to investigate. This guy's gonna die, isn't he? Um, not Elzem, of course, I mean this guy. I totally can't remember, it's been years since I played this game. Uh, the unidentified objects are approaching, are accelerating, and they're gonna crash into you. Are they going to attack him? Elzem, please withdraw. This is Doll 1, I'm changing. I'm changing the plans and moving from test mode to, to uh, battle mode. Battle mode? We can't permit, we can't authorize that. They're already aiming for me. But, but, but the Gash Pens Mark II doesn't have weapons. Weapons. Two arms are enough. Ha uh, Professor Hamill, please stop him. Oh, let him do what he pleases. If the if the EIT EOTI uh, agency, I guess, if the EOTI agency's predictions are correct, and these are you come sit, come sit. Uh, what's the word? Articulated, articulated mobile weapons. Articulated mobile weapons. Uh, that, that makes sense, I guess, because mobile weapons could be like airplanes and stuff. Articulated mobile weapons. I, mean, I guess that means they have limbs. I really haven't played this game in a long time. Uh, if they are articulated mobile weapons, uh, then the raison d'etre of the tra. I can't pronounce French. Then the reason for existing. And, necessit and necessity for personal troopers can be proven to the higher-ups in the army. What are you saying? Come on, Trombe. Yeah, Elzim does this. He calls everything he writes Trombe. It's the, it's the name of his horse which may or may not be dead. It's probably dead, isn't it, in that colony terrorism ex ex not a Not accident, uh, incident. Yeah. Uh, mission, defeat all enemies, don't let Elzem get shut down, and for, this for the uh, proficiency point, uh, they later changed the name of these to SR points, I'll just call them those. Uh, for the SR point, I need to defeat all the enemies within 4 turns. Just do a quick save here. I think I'm gonna try for all the SR points. Uh, let's see. I'm going to use shoot you. Uh, let's concentrate, which increases aim and dodge by 30% for one turn. Two phases. Uh, each turn comprises of the allied phase and enemy phase. Phase, phase. Allied phase and enemy phase. That's one turn. So the enemies will have l a lower chance of hitting me on the other phase. And I'm going to use Accelerate to get into range. Increases movement by 3, wasn't it? 3, yeah. 3. And his third ability is um, Chokkan. That's um, Intuition, I guess. Uh, it gives you the effects of another two different Seishin. Uh, yeah, this uh, command is called Seishin. Uh, that's uh, Spirit Commands. Gives you the, the effects of two other Spirit Commands. Uh, Hiramiki. That's... Um, uh, inspiration, a, f a flash of insight, a flash of insight, I guess, here Mickey. Uh, that gives you a 100% dodge rate for one battle, that's not one turn or one phase, just one battle, and hit you, uh, hit you, that's a uh, hit for sure, 
uh, it gives you a 100% hit rate for one turn. Alright, it's a bit expensive, so I don't need that. So I'll just use those, use two of those, and... Yeah, this thing doesn't have weapons, it only has melee, range is one. So, we can battle. I see, this machine certainly isn't of Earth. This BGM used for Elzan. Oh, I forgot to turn off the rumble. Uh, this BGM used for Elzan. In the, there was a bug in one of the games. I can't remember which. Which was it? OG1, I guess. Yeah, it was OG1. In OG1, there was a bug where his BGM would cancel out anything else. Uh, like, each character in this game, well, most of them, in OG1 and 2, there's still a few characters without any. Uh, most characters have their own BGMs, their own teams, but with bosses, big boss characters, their team will cancel out yours, it has priority. But there was a bug in OG1 where Elzem's team would cancel out literally everything. Even if you go up against the final boss, his team would play. Which was uh, pretty funny, and people liked it, and they made it, and Ban Bandai, Bandai Namco, they turned it into a part of his character, Bandai Namco, Bumpresto, whatever, uh, they turned it into part of his character, so in the later games, his BGM will always cancel out the enemy team, no matter what. I think there might be a couple of exceptions, like uh, for some of the vocal Jam Project songs, uh, those will have higher priority over his theme, but in general, his theme will cancel out almost everything. These unidentified objects look like insects. Bugs! And this, um, at first, when he says bugs or insects, he says the text says in Japanese mushi. But then he, after that, it says in katakana, bugs. And that's how these things get their code name, bugs. They look like bugs, so they're called bugs. Uh, I'm playing the anim battle animations now, but I think I'm getting some off. Yeah. I might show off the battle animations like one or two times for each character, but for the most part, I think I'm gonna turn them off. And I forgot to turn off the rumble. God damn it. It's a bit tougher talking and playing the game at the same time than I initially thought. That's one down, three more to go. Okay, how am I supposed to do this in four turns? I don't even remember. Some games have easier SR points than others. I can't remember. Why does the start of the player phase have a rumble? It's so annoying. Uh, yeah, that's off. Uh, let's see, anything else I want to change? No? Yeah, that's fine. Uh, I don't think I need any station this turn. Wait a second, what's the range? Can I see the range? Yeah, they have a range of 5. That's uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Oh wait, it doesn't matter because I don't have any ranged attacks. Never mind. Wait, what's the movement? Uh, movement is also 5. Oh yeah, I should check that out. 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah, you can, you can press the L3 button to mark the spots in the map. It's good for SR points and stuff. Usually the games, the gameplay in general in these games is usually pretty easy, but if you aim for the SR points, they can be pretty tough at times. Yeah, so I'm turning off the battle animations. Get this guy. Alright, these things, they're not called bugs yet. 
I mean, they're not called bugs in the system. Uh, the people don't actually know their names, but they're actually called uh, Megi Road. Megi, Megi Road. I think it's Hebrew. Yeah, most of the Balma Empire's stuff is Hebrew names, so it's probably Hebrew for something. Can I look at the? Yeah, aggregators and high functionality sensors. They are used for scouting. All right, aggregators is the code name for these aliens at this point. Nobody knows what their real name is. Yeah, I do. Yeah, this game's pretty old, so. People know about most of the details and everything else. The Arrogator thing is, yeah, I'm pretty sure that Arrogator thing was taken from Alpha 1. Uh, the very first appearance of these guys is in Shin Super Robot Wars, which I never played. Uh, that's the first appearance of the Balma Empire, but I think they were just called the Balma Empire in there. Uh, in Alpha 1, People didn't know who they were just yet. You don't really. They, they only mostly send out like unmanned drones and stuff, so they were pretty mysterious. And they had the code name Arrogators. I wonder what the etymology, like why they called them that. Did they ever say Arrogators? That's a weird name. Uh, by the way, this is the first time I'm like doing a let's play or uploading videos to YouTube so I will screw up. I already did screw up quite a bit before I even like before I even started recording with uh, cable stuff and I couldn't find the game for some time, that kind of thing. I will be screwing up so please bear with me. Okay, this guy isn't moving and his movement limits here. Movement limit and range are the same. So if I move here, he won't be able to hit me. Uh, hmm, yes. Okay, I'll get this guy first. This guy will be should be able to hit me with his ranged attack, meaning he won't move. And this guy will probably move up to here, so I can go in between and hit both of them with later on with my melee. Should I? 22% is fine. Turn 3. Wait a second. I get this guy, I hit... Oh, okay, I probably won't get all the SR points then, I guess. Like I said, some of these are pretty... Ah, oh, damn it! If only this was a range 1 to 2. If it were a range 1 to 2, it'd be easy. Range 1 makes it pretty hard. Yes, this turn 4. Should I retry? I'm just gonna retry. Yeah, maybe he, if I stay out of the range of the f second guy's ranged attacks, maybe he'll move. And that'll make it easier. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Whoops. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. What about this guy? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I should go in front. For now, I'll be trying for all the SR points. If it gets into the way of the gameplay of the LP, then I'll just give up, I guess. I don't... F yeah, in OG 1 and 2, the original versions of these games on the on the GBA, Game Boy Advance, uh, you needed to get more SR points, a certain number of SR points, in order to get the true endings, the true final bosses. I think... yeah, that's not the case from the... For the rest of the series from PS2 and on, you don't lose anything for not getting the SR points, story-wise. I think it's... Oh, I need to turn off the rumble again. I think the SR points are required for some of the secret units, so I'll do my best to get all of them. As many as I can. So yeah, this time I'll move here. 
And this guy can't hit me with his ranged attack. Come on. Yeah. Oh, uh, now this guy won't move. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, no matter what, this guy won't move, so I'll try to get this one to come here. Uh, should I save? Wait, what turn is it? Turn three. Okay. Yeah, maybe he'll come here and hit me. If, he, if this guy comes here, he might hit me with his melee. That will let me hit him once. And I can go here and pack this guy, and I can kill both of them with the counter attacks on turn four. On turn four, fa enemy face. Yeah, that should work. I, mm, I have a hundred percent hit rate. That's fine. Come on. Yes, I did it. I did it. Me. Got a twin system. So yeah, by turn four. Uh, when they say the, when they say turn four, they mean both phases in turn four, which includes the enemy phase. So it's literally impossible to kill all of the enemies by turn four's player phase, but you can totally do it by the enemy phase. Um, this guy still has full HP, I believe. Yeah. So I will just hit this guy once, and both of them will come and attack me during the enemy phase, and I can kill them with my counter attacks. Oh, critical. And this should do it. Yep. And I got the SR point. Shows, which I'm not familiar much with military ranks, so uh, I have problems translating them because I can't even remember what most of them are in English, let alone Japanese. Uh, Shosa is... I think that's major, yes, 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 it's a uh, Ghost in the Shell. Uh, uh, Motoko, Motoko from Ghost in the Shell is Shosa, so she's the major, right? So that's Major Alzan. Major Alzheimer, another unidentified object. I know, I know, I see it. What are you trying to do? I'm not going to destroy it, I'm going, I'm going to capture it. What? Uh, Professor BM and the EOTI Agency. There's a need to give a sample to Professor BM and the EOTI Agency. Wait, could this be the reason why the why the Hebrew has uh, gone out of contact around Pluto? Mm. If these bug-like machines are the alien guests, I heard about we heard it that B Professor Bian Zoldak is talking about. Then mankind's history may be facing. A huge turning point. Uh, he says he says guests over here, and he, actually, these bugs and the arrogators or bomber, whichever you want to call them, they are not the guests that Vian is talking about. <laughs> yeah, he's talking about some other guests. Who could these guests be? They're the guests, <laughs> and that's. Chapter 1 clear. I'm just gonna save. Yeah, that's a save over there. I'm just gonna avoid that. And that's chapter 1 clear. Episode 1 clear. I'll see you next time then. Thanks for viewing the video and goodbye.